Fruit and vegetable growers are facing major changes in regulations in their industry. Recently, a group of farmers gathered in Tifton, Georgia, to learn just how their operations will be affected and how to comply with new measures. Monitor's Mark Wildman was also there. Fruit and vegetable growers packed a room at UGA's conference center in Tifton to hear about how many hoops they are going to have to jump through in order to fumigate their crops next growing season. Dr. Stanley Culpepper presented growers with details of the new regulations being imposed on the industry. Most importantly is worker safety and protection. Uh, so our growers have new laws and new regulations that they have to follow to make sure they're safe as well as their employees are safe when applying fumigants uh, in these areas that, that are relying heavily on the use of fumigants to control a lot of the pests. The new regulations are designed to protect employees and neighbors, but farmers feel they already implement safe practices and the new measures will greatly affect their farming operations. It's going to be a difficult process for us, but I mean, it's something we can manage. It's just going to have to get it down just like we do everything else we do. It's, we're going to have to get down our, our, our computer systems and, and our paperwork and know, learn how to do it. And then after we learn how to do it, it'll be just costly. It's going to be costly for us, but uh, in time consuming is what it's going to be. Charles Hall represents fruit and vegetable growers in Georgia, and he attended this meeting and is working to get the word out to producers that these changes are not an option. It's law beginning December 1st with new uh, labels for uh, soil fumigants, whether it's uh, chloropicrine, whether it's uh, uh, Maytam, uh, other uh, soil fumigants that they might be using. It is, it is law and it's something that they should follow. Some of the changes that are coming affect buffer zones around fields, masks for those fumigating, and of course, more paperwork. 2011, the, the biggest changes for us are increased uh, input or impacts on worker protection safety. Uh, when we're out fumigating, uh, there are a lot of new regulations in place to make sure that the people fumigating are very, very safe. Uh, the, the people that come into the field within a few days are, are very, very safe as well as our neighbors are safe. So it's safety, safety, safety for the fumigator as well as the employees and, and those anywhere in the vicinity of a fumigated field. But the changes are not as bad as they could have been. Dr. Culpepper and myself and, and the Fruit and Vegetable Growers Association has worked for the past three years trying to uh, reduce the amount of paperwork that we're going to have to do with it every time we fumigate. Still, producers will have to spend more money. And to some, any more money spent without return will be tough. The growers clearly want to be safe. They're the best stewards in the world of our land. So they want to do things right. Uh, they, they want to do what they can. They want to make sure their employees are safe. They want to make sure the community is, sh is safe. So overall, our growers are very supportive. The challenge is a lot of these regulations cost a lot of money. And this has not been a good vegetable production year if, if you get out much. So uh, it's the economic impact on our growers is, is the challenge. That's what they're having the hardest time with. And that's what we're trying to help them uh, develop program or develop ways that they can address these new regulations while not spending any more uh, financial capital than, than they have to. In Tifton, I'm Mark Wildman for the Georgia Farm Monitor.